people, 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 people. Que passa, sa, passe, what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I did yesterday. And it pertains to a lady, a 58-year-old lady, and her name is Janita Lewis O.C. Polly. And she's from Lucy, Hanover to be specific. Now, this lady was said to have been missing for a couple of days. However, people, there was a video that I showed yesterday. And I am going to show that video later on in this video. So, people, basically, this lady went missing. And the daughter, she was concerned. And the husband, he was also concerned. So therefore, they went to the Popo station. And they put out some sort of APB to say that the wife is missing. So therefore, she could basically return. However, people, based on the information, it is said that this wife, Polly, was staying at some friend's house. Maybe Joe Grand family house, people, men or not. And also, based on the information, it is said that that same place that she was staying, that lady, even put on Facebook that she is missing. So people, we say that there was some sort of cover up. And I don't know if it is because some sort of insurance policy, whatever the case is, people. Me no know. So anyways, the bottom line is this. The man went to the poor part to the house that she was staying at. And he found her and he went with the daughter. So people, I am just going to show you a sample. Because I spoke about this before. So take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Alright. See the vehicle here. I can't find. And see, see my wife here. See her here. See my wife, what is it? Come, 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 let's go now. Let's go. And turn me with some in that. 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 Turn me with Come. So people take a listen, take a look to the voice note of the husband and the next concerned citizen. Take a listen, take a look. JJ, so fine a while ago. You wanna don't want to friend you had your daddy. And your friend then put up on Facebook such a missing. So the police ain't supposed to down there, they lock up a friend them. So they mislead police and all that something there. So I just say that they are police station right now to give so one statement. The man they all strip search me and all that they say me killer right now. I just say we ain't catching her. So I have to plan out my life you know. So I want to lock up Lady Gun in a station and trip him naked down there and they torture him, say him kill, kill the woman. Me rotted judge. Poor boy. And he all sick with his heart too. So people, clearly we could see that this lady was in the house. We could see that the Pope was surprised to see her. We could see or hear that the husband was also surprised that she was actually alive. I don't know if he was happy or he had some sort of mixed feelings. Now, people, based on information, it is said that when this lady went missing, the family members, they did not hear from the husband. They saw the daughter, they saw the husband, and nobody said anything to them. And it is also said that even though the husband acts as if he is concerned, it is said that he was allegedly abusing her so people maybe that is the reason that she left because people the truth and the facts is that nobody is going to leave any sorts of situation unless they think that the grass is greener on the other side so people me no know based on information it is said that this husband's name is ladigan and he is also a licensed fire peace holder and he is said to be a security guard now, people, what this lady did not realize is a trickle-down effect whenever you do something like that. Especially in the climate of Jamaica, wherein persons are getting missing left, right, and center. It is also said that this lady also has a family member, sister, that resides in the United States, USA, and her name is Vivian. And it is said that Vivian even passed out. She had to be taken to the place of recovery, and people, I don't know if she actually lost her life however she took it very bad so people at the end of the day the moral of the story is this persons have to be very careful about their action especially when they have family and if you know that you're in some sort of a b u s i v e relationship whether it be any sort of man or woman you have to basically get out a s a p 
because usually it gets worse instead of getting better point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that 33 year old former reggae boy and his name is Tremaine Stewart and he also played for Dumby Holding. We are speaking about FC as a forward. Now based on the information it is said that he was playing football in his community of Garden Pen in St. Catherine when he collapsed. He was taken to the place of recovery. However people he did not make it. Too late was the call. Now based on the information it is said that this forward played for the reggae boy at least 12 times scoring two goals and he also played professional football in Norway and Finland and then he returned to Jamaica and played for Portmore now people he was 33 years old at the time of his demise so people when you look at a youth that is 33 years old we say that is a young man we say that is a man that did not live any sorts of life as it and also based upon the fact that he was a professional football player it tells you that he must have been in some sort of physical shape, physical form. Better than most persons living in this world. So we have asked the question, he must have had some sort of heart condition that was not diagnosed or maybe he knew and maybe he thought that it was okay. However, people, it is very sad to see that somebody at the age of 33 died before their time. So we are speaking about a premature passing. So people, at the end of the day, this only shows you that Nobody knows what tomorrow brings, so therefore you have to live life at its fullest and always put your family and your friends first and put yourself first. Put your health in front of your wealth, point blank and period. So anyways people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion, it is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I have started uploading news items on that channel and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see say, the Squaddy Olympics it a run. And when I speak about the Squaddy Olympics, I am speaking about as it pertains to the Nyamin. It is the hottest topic on social media. It is buzzing. It is like that little volcano in a St. Vincent. People, it is erupting. It have everybody attack. Everybody has sus. And people, the truth and the fact is that this and the videos that we saw, it is obvious that the Squaddy them are lead the Nyamin thing as it pertains to Jamaica. Them have Jamaica luck. We are speaking about the squad that is responsible for it all. However, people, it seems as if the squad, the female inspector, she basically take the crown. She is leading in all facets of everything. People, she have it luck. Now, people, when I say that she have it luck, I am speaking about she come with all of the toys and she was using the toys and she was given the effect, she was given the sound effect, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. And people, she also was in some sort of bondage. That means that she handcuffed up. And she was doing her thing while she was handcuffed up. And people, when I speak about the volcano eruption from St. Vincent, it don't have nothing upon her. May I talk about all over her face. May I talk about it coming like some sort of bleaching cream. Now, people, just to show you how hypocritical Jamaicans are, the Nyamin topic is supposed to be a taboo topic. However, whenever those videos get posted on social media, the interest that it sparks, it is overwhelming. We are speaking about it is overflowing. And people, the persons that are interesting are mostly women, the men them too. However, the women are very interested. And based on the comments that I get, the women are saying that the men them them need to step up them game because me have a man and me nang get this and me nang get that and they are asking me all sorts of questions as if I am some sort of love making therapist or whatever I don't know why they feel so me just a talk about the news me never say me do it 
me just I say and that I go on pan. What I go on? So anyways, people, the point that I am trying to make is that based on the two squad of them, the male squad and the female squad, people, those are the videos that get the most views on social media. Ever since we are talking about rifle and the next one, one is British. Me not see no videos on social media get more views on that people point blank and period. It is a hottest topic. So people, we can only come to some sort of logical conclusion and people, this is no sort of official survey or any sort of scientific proof or scientific research. But people, based on what I say, it seems as if Jamaicans, they are very interested in all sorts of naming topic and people. This proof once again, me I talk about the male squad, me I talk about the Dan from down a damn head, me I talk about Gary Gazan, and me I talk about this Popo Inspector of Popo, and it is said that she is from Central Popo Station. So, people, I don't know if that's where she works. However, based on information that I get, it is said that that is where she works. So, people, at the end of the day, it is all about entertainment for a blogger like me, and persons are both, especially. In this big sea time, so therefore they need all sorts of entertainment and people, the truth and the facts that persons exposing themselves whenever there's any sorts of controversy and drama and mix up at that people like, irregardless or regardless of what you hear them say, point blank and period. So anyways people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say, it is just my views and opinion, it is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.